Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron ci ha definiti vomitevoli, cinici, irresponsabili. E qui la stampa italiana a dire, eh, hai visto che ha detto Macron, che siamo irresponsabili, vergogna. Irresponsabile Emmanuel Macron sono quelli che hanno bombardato la Libia perché gli dava fastidio che l'Italia avesse un rapporto privilegiato in campo energetico con Gheddafi, esponendoci al caos migrazione nel quale ci troviamo. Cinici Emmanuel Macron sono i francesi che mandano la gendarmerie a rispedire indietro qualunque immigrato tenti di passare il confine a Ventimiglia. Ma soprattutto... Perché le cose vanno raccontate come si deve, vomitevole e chi... Bono, che lo vuoi dire tu? Ci hai mai tolto il pato? Vomit vomitevole e chi, come la Francia, continua a sfruttare l'Africa stampando moneta per 14 nazioni africane sulle quali applica il signoraggio facendo lavorare bambini nelle miniere estraendo materie prime come accade in Niger dove la Francia estrae il 30% dell'uranio che gli serve a far camminare le centrali nucleari e il 90% dei nigerini vive senza elettricità non ci venire a fare lezioni Macron perché l'Africa scappa da voi e la soluzione non è spostare gli africani in Europa, è liberare l'Africa da certi europei. Non accettiamo lezioni. Among the various former colonial powers, France stands out as a nation that continues to wield substantial influence over its former colonies. In the present day, inhabitants of African countries that were once under French rule are taking a united stance against their former colonizers, striving for complete independence from their grasp. This leads to the question, what specific actions or ongoing practices by France have contributed to this widespread discontent? Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has consistently brought attention to France's alleged wrongdoings, especially in the aftermath of the Niger coup, and her statements have garnered considerable attention. Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney has consistently raised concerns about the perceived mistreatment of Africans at the hands of France. She has continuously criticized France for what she views as its exploitation of the resources within African nations. Melanie's assertions emphasize that France disproportionately benefits from African resources compared to the local populations. According to her perspective, addressing the issue of illegal immigration requires putting an end to the exploitative practices imposed upon Africans and granting them the opportunity to liberate themselves from these unjust circumstances. Accusations have been directed towards France, suggesting that the nation has established unfair agreements with African countries. Among these policies is the alleged enforcement of a colonial tax, purportedly linked to the benefits gained from the colonial period. This implies that newly independent nations are obligated to reimburse France for the costs it incurred in constructing infrastructure during the colonial era. Another contentious policy involves the appropriation of national financial reserves. According to this arrangement, African nations are compelled to deposit their financial reserves into the French Central Bank. As a result, France has maintained control over the financial reserves of 14 African countries since 1961. These countries encompass Benin, Burkina Faso, Guinea-Bissau, Ivory Coast, Mali, Niger, Senegal, Togo, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Chad, Congo-Brazzaville, Equatorial Guinea, and Gabon. Notably, in 2019, there was a proposal put forth by eight West African countries advocating for the withdrawal of their currency reserves from the French Central Bank. A notable point of contention between France and its former colonies pertains to the issue of raw materials and resources. Among these, the Sahel Nation stands out as a significant global producer of uranium, supplying a substantial amount of uranium to the European Union, particularly to France. With the recent coup in Niger intensifying the crisis, a growing sense of concern is spreading throughout Europe. Concerning uranium exports from Niger, 
a prominent global uranium producer, it is estimated that one out of every three light bulbs in France is powered by uranium sourced from Niger. However, despite this, almost 85% of Niger's population lacks access to electricity. Despite Niger having achieved independence in the 1960s, France maintains a strong influence within the country, effectively holding a near monopoly on accessing its natural resources. Since the discovery of uranium in Niger, a significant portion of the ore has been exclusively exported to France for over four decades through Oriva, the French state-owned nuclear power company. Surprisingly, this arrangement has resulted in uranium mining, contributing to only about 5% of Niger's national gross domestic product. Considering Niger's crucial role in supplying raw materials to France at a notably low cost, one might anticipate that France would have displayed a stronger commitment to Niger's development. However, despite this, Niger remains among the most impoverished nations in Africa. The rise of anti-France sentiments is hardly surprising, given that the ongoing collaboration and interaction with France have failed to produce positive outcomes. Instead, these interactions have worsened the challenges faced by former French colonies. Do you believe that France bears responsibility for Manchuria's economic situation? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you found this video engaging, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Think Rich Africa for more exciting upcoming videos.